Hello everyone, welcome back, thank you for joining us. So as we all have seen in the past few days, Epic Games have finally launched Unreal Engine 5 with its new features, Lumen in Nanite, as Lumen for the dynamic global illumination calculated in real time, and Nanite for the massive polygon handling inside Unreal Engine C. And as we all, as game developers or ArcViz artists, we all wanted to explore how this will affect our projects and how the lighting actually will be different from what we have. So we decided to take our project example from our course 2 to explore it inside Unreal Engine 5 and see how the lighting will change. What you see right now is basically a GPU light bake that was done inside Unreal Engine 4.26 done by the Unreal Engine GPU lighting that was available inside the engine and what we are seeing right now is actually a nice result in terms of lighting and shadows done by uh, the GPU to give us a light map distributed all over our static meshes based on the lighting and the shadows so let's see how this will be explored or will be different inside Unreal Engine 5. Just keep in mind we're not skipping any of our modeling tutorials that we are supposed to continue but we thought that this is something really important for all of us to see and we are sharing our trial with the Unreal Engine 5 and how the lighting have been a really great development inside Unreal Engine. So let's jump in inside Unreal Engine 5 with the same project. Okay, so inside Unreal Engine 5, this is a basic setup that we have reached after playing a little bit with the lighting that we have set up earlier. But the first thing we did is that we rebaked the whole scene again to get rid of all the light map that was calculated over all of our static meshes inside our scene. And we did that with no lighting enabled, so if we hide all the lighting one by one, we have also the interior lights, you can see that the whole scene will be black, which is a good thing to start enabling each light and then see how this will affect our scene. So I'm sure you guys agree that the grass now looks much better than we had in our earliest uh, version. Now, it is also worth mentioning that Epic have really done a great job with the user interface. And as we have also seen, when you press Control and Space, you will reach to the Content Browser, which you can control actually the thumbnail size and resize it as you wish and it will show again with the same resize that we you have enabled so let's just start so let's start exploring unreal engine 5 lighting techniques so i'm gonna hide the grass just to increase the frame per second And let's show our frame per second rate inside our project. Okay, so we have our directional light enabled. If you start your uh, scene inside Unreal Engine 5, first thing you should do to enable Lumen is to go to your project setting. And the easiest way to reach to your Lumen settings is type it on your search. You'll find it under the rendering inside your global illumination. Make sure that it's set up to Lumen reflections also and the lumen software ray tracing mode to detail ray tracing if this is enabled then you're good to go to start playing with the light and see how the effect is going inside your scene so let's select our directional light and let's see how the values of the directional light once we start playing with it will affect our scene so we have an indirect light lighting intensity 
that we if we increase let's say for example to six you will see immediately that the, the scene start to light up more if we bring it also more to 15 you can see that the whole scene is getting more lighting and that's because of the the process of the lighting that is created by the bouncing created by the direction light inside the scene this is actually one of the, the most amazing things that have been enabled inside Unreal Engine 5 so we have also a boss process volume here and if you also type lumen you'll find that there is an option inside the global illumination to enable lumen and this will show you if you disable it or if you choose back the screen space you'll see the big difference between lumen and the other options and this is really shows a great improvement in the global illumination inside unreal engine for ArcVis project, we always start our lighting techniques with the NHDRI. So I'm gonna close the edge direction light and enable a blueprint light studio that is available inside Unreal Engine. Once you load your blueprint light studio, you can change the HDRI and your scene by going to the sky lighting. Sorry, I have to raise this can go to the skylight to choose our HDRI and also make sure that you put your HDRI cube map so I'm, I'm sure you all agree that the result by only the HDRI inside our scene is really impressive especially if we raise also the HDRI brightness and if we also raise the skylight basically the HDRI brightness increase the brightness of this uh, HDRI so I'm gonna increase the intensity actually of the skylight and immediately we can see that the amount of light bounces in our scene is really nice and it's given us really nice results especially if you are trying to build the mood first before you add the Sun to your scene if you remember our project strategy here is that we are visualizing actually a real project so with the new update inside our religion 5 we now can simulate the lighting step by step through looking at the image so the lumen is making the HDRI lighting our scene with the colors and the skylight so if we also rotate our source cube map can see that this is also affecting our scene as you can see here so lighting up the scene like that with, an, with a simple HDRI image is really something impressive now when we enable also the directional light you can see now that even the combination now that we can see in the real time especially in that area this is really something impressive now even with the direction light you can actually play with the shadow sharpness in real time and you can see your result immediately even when we start to enable our interior light like that if we just enable it you can start actually playing with the lighting color or intensity let's select all the descendant you can see right now we can increase the intensity or decrease it to the amount that we feel acceptable to match our mood we don't need to face any problems of light baking again I'm not sure if this how this is gonna run on a normal graphic card but I'm sure you guys are gonna need to uh, a minimum of uh, maybe 1060 or 1070 to get a better result with this new features we are running this right now on a 2070 as you can see we can see a slower performance but if our target is to get some images or animations it is it is more than enough for us crank the settings more to get a 
some really nice images or animations from our project so yeah it is actually worth it to upgrade your project to Unreal Engine 5 and start playing with the lighting test it up and see how it will affect your lighting one more thing also to mention here that you can also write down in the console command if you write r.lumen you will see lots of different console commands that you can actually start uh, experimenting with and let's say for example the allow if we set it to zero you can see that we lose a lot of the that global emission effect that we have before so if we bring it back to one we can have it back in and this is something that is really interesting to also experiment with so it is worth looking into it if you go to the window output log and write down any of these command in go for example to anything like that and write a question mark and hit enter it will actually explain what is that console command is doing actually it's like this for example the size of a cell and the card rig so it shows a 64 that means if you bring it down for example to 5 for example you will start to see some artifacts inside your scene so if we bring it back to 64 we understand now that raising this value will improve the quality and it's also going to be expensive in terms of a frame per second performance but overall seeing this quality in real time is really amazing and i do believe that it is worth upgrading our project to unreal engine 5 i know it's difficult especially if you have a commission project that you need to submit to your client maybe you'll need to test this first and experiment with it if you have the time but overall i do believe that we have a big potential with this release and even with playing with the lighting as we have done the entire light intensity increasing this value is increasing the amount of global emanation inside our scene which makes sense and this is makes it much more easier if you actually targeting to simulate uh, a real image or a lighting performance or a lighting quality that you're trying to reach by playing with the lighting uh, figures inside your uh, tools so this was just a run-up to show you guys how we tested this and our project and yeah very soon we'll start to actually see more of this in our upcoming videos when you especially when we reach to uh, the lighting tutorials and as you can see there is actually a drawback in the frame per second which I'm sure we still can see more uh, solution for that very soon from Epic Games but overall, I do believe that this release is a huge improvement in the lighting, especially with the new features, which is the Lumen. So this is just a basic setup for you guys to show you how uh, we tested our uh, project inside Unreal Engine 5. But we hope you guys have enjoyed our experiment with uh, Unreal Engine 5. If you have any suggestion, please share it down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.